As the votes continue to come in, as people make their way to the polls, Queen City News reporter Lindsay Klein joins us now live from the Board of Elections, where workers are very busy this afternoon keeping track, track of it all. Lindsay? Yes, yeah, so people are still heading to the polls to get that vote in before they close at 7.30. And then, of course, those ballots will make their way here to the County Board of Elections office. And we are joined now by Michael Dix Dickerson, sorry if I could say your name, <laughs> the director of the County Board of Elections. So talk about it. You said you've actually had a pretty slow day for Election Day. Correct. It's actually been a very good day for us here. Um, everybody opened up on time, got everything going on time. It's a credit to all the great workers that we have out there. They know their stuff. They know their job. The trainers that we have here, the folks that are answering the phone calls, everybody's pitching in to make it a great day. And a lot of people voted early this year. I think it was 42,000, yes. right? So how does that compare to last year? Stacks up to, well, to an equivalent year. The last midterm election that we had, we only had 21,000. So we doubled what we wow. did four years ago in a primary election. That's great. That's great. Folks really love the early voting. You all covered it all during early voting and push, <laughs> push sites all over the place. That's great. I, it, it's 17 days of practice to get this one right. So that's great. All right, uh, Michael Dickerson, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll be here as those ballots do begin to come in this evening. So you still have a little bit of time to get to the polls before they close at 7.30, but we'll be here live at 10 as those ballots are being counted. Live from the County Board of Elections, Lindsay Klein, Queen City News.